Another item on my bucket list is realized with the viewing of the Rosemary Clooney house, particularly the white Christmas section. It was absolutely amazing. Of course, being a Vera Ellen fan for over 45 years, I had to cut to the chase when I went to the museum and I went straight to the costume that I knew was there uh, that Vera Ellen wore in the Mandy number. Just look at this beauty. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. And considering she was sweating and dancing her heart out in this costume, I'm amazed at the condition. I'm not sure if the tool bustle in the back um, is restored or remade um, or not. It was very white, but it was still beautiful. The costumes in White Christmas were designed by Edith Head. And um, with a costume like this, not only did she have to design this you know, beautiful um, creation, but it had to be movable. Um, it had to allow Vera Ellen to move. Uh, so Edith Head was an absolute genius. After I was done ooing and eyeing over the Mandy costume, I then went on to the sisters' costumes. They have both of them worn by Rosemary Clooney and Vera Ellen. And again, the detail, the design, it was just so fun to see these costumes in person. They are so beautiful. And seeing them in person allows you to see little details like the sequins that are underneath um, the, the top layer. Um, which allowed them to sparkle so much during their number. Those are the kind of things that Edith had uh, thought of that are so amazing. And it's kind of sweet that the costumes are back together again, just like they were <clears throat> together in 1954. I don't know what the provenance is of those because one is faded and one is not. So that would be interesting to find out where they've been all these years. They even have one of the fans from the number. Isn't that great? I always thought this brown suit that Rosemary Clooney wore when she's leaving the production um, at the train station was very chic, and it's really beautiful in person as well. They didn't have the black dress that Rosemary wore in the Love You Didn't Do Right By Me number. There's George Shakiris, he's still around. Um, but they did have the beautiful rhinestone gloves that she wore. I shouldn't give short shrift to the male costumes that are there because I love Bing Crosby. Um, and they do have three uniforms, uh, one of Bing Crosby's, one of Danny Kaye's, and one of Dean Jagger's. Um, but they aren't as fun as the pretty female costumes. <laughs> okay, back to the pretty ones. Um, I love this one that Vera Ellen wore in the scene um, where she has to get engaged to Danny Kaye so that Bing and Rosemary can get back together. And there's the dress that Rosemary wore in the same scene. Um, and it's fun to see them back together again, too. The beauty of seeing these costumes in person is that you finally get to see the detail uh, that you can't see on the screen. Tucked in the back here is the robe that Rosemary Clooney wore in the scene where Vera Ellen is calling her a mother hen. These costumes worn by the background dancers in the Mandy number are so fun to see in person because you really don't get any idea of the detail and the beauty of these costumes in that number. You're too busy watching Vera Ellen. <laughs> Even though Vera Ellen was the second female lead in this movie, I think they gave her the prettier wardrobe. That's just my opinion. Um, but they have this beautiful hat, uh, this uh, leopard hat that she wore. The fabulous scene stealer, Mary Wicks, uh, also has a costume in the museum, as well as uh, George Jakiris, his costume from the uh, Love You Didn't Do Right By Me number. And I had a hand in helping the museum get these two green suits from the Mandy number. Um, one was worn by John Brasha, the lead dancer with Vera Ellen, and the other was worn by uh, one of the chorus men. In my capacity at Bonham's Auction House, I also helped them get this little Holiday Inn dress, which can be seen in the background of White Christmas, and this uh, wire from Vera Ellen to Bob Alton, who was the choreographer of White Christmas. I was already completely mesmerized with the Rosemary Clooney house, but uh, it was the icing on the cake when they let my dog Vivian sleep on the rug while I looked at the museum. So I'm going to have to make a second video that deals just with Rosemary Clooney because she deserves it. The, the museum 
her section is incredible and the fact that she lived in the house is pretty cool. Um, but I'm also going to be doing uh, another White Christmas video uh, and Vera, about Vera Ellen's role in the film. So I hope you guys will stay tuned for both of those and my other videos. And thanks so much for supporting my channel.